everybody apparently is ready to get really into it early. So hence the yeah. shits on, bitch. Fucking game on. on. Game on. All right. Snap it next and shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> um, let's see. Does everybody already know each other? Yes. Good. Well, yeah. yes. Right. Good. All right. Everybody draw four cards. <clears throat> And congratulations for being on about a half hour early. For any new players, uh, be sure to log in early because you can never fucking tell. Damn Excellent. cyber psychosis. Mm -hmm. This is such a shitty card to get right off the bat. Why, you wanted to install cyber psychotic stuff in people? No, I just pulled Amazing Greed. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck everybody. <laughs> yeah, he said he's a shitty guy to get rid of. So. I think your chances of holding on to it through the whole session are pretty it's fucking pretty. small. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to get rid of it. Possible, I do, have a, but... I do have a replenish. Everyone in the card play, including NPCs, may discard as many cards as they wish and refill. Quite possibly. Um, I'm assuming psychic abilities haven't suddenly arisen in the game as yet. You are correct. All right, I will draw a replacement card. Hmm. I will let uh, people people will find out because I'm eventually other systems of magic may arise and shit, but I'm waiting until this one gets a bit more settled. Yeah, I just recall there's a matrix ability or something that. Seems to only be useful if getting attacked with someone with psych by someone who's got psychic abilities. No, that's uh, that's uh, mind control type magic, which we do have a school uh, for. Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, <clears throat> okay, crap, 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 crap. So, do you guys have shitty cards and want John to hit the replenish, or are you good with what you got? I don't like using that until we need to use it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's see how we go. Buy a card. Ooh. Buy a card, play first. Uh... Right. You guys all wake up to the soft ticking of a grandfather clock. It smells like pledge and dust. Immediately, all of you know exactly where you are. Canada? Oh. That's right. <laughs> Oh, Canada! Yeah. But, yeah, you, you guys are all in separate rooms in Burlington with your clothes and gear that you had on you neatly folded up and stuff. Um, yeah. And laundered. All righty, then. I'll get dressed in my toga and wander out. <laughs> Something new is going on, like the other two, when you're greeted by Joshua McKay, who's now dressed in a Roman toga complete with sandals. Toga, toga, toga. Yep. Is the Animal House theme song playing by any chance? Not yet, but it is from the 1950s, so it is in the timeline of that movie, approximately. Okie doke. You don't know why he's wearing a toga, but by God, he's rocking the toga. Go to this. Uh, good morning. <laughs> and it's clean, white linen, and it looks like it's super long. It's not like a bed sheet size toga. It's like many meters of material wrapped round and round and round and shit. Proper toga. Like proper. <laughs> You're wondering just how many different kinds of areas there are now. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, Doc, how's it going? You know, it's going. Yeah, it's we had good. a pretty interesting, we had some fun the other day. Uh, yeah. I'll let Doc explain that one. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, oh, I was it, looking forward to a player briefing by John at long last. Just to confirm, it's Tommy. Yes. Good. I was right. 
I was pretty certain that was the case. Yes, mm -hmm. you were with Mildred and I when we started travelling the Route 66 and you suddenly disappeared. Yeah. I think. I think, yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what the hell happened, man. I just... Yeah, I think out of the game you had power failure or something at your place. <sighs> or your internet crashed and burned on you or something. What is your recall. character's name again? I forget. Joshua McKay. That's right, yes. Now, you're both probably wondering why I am wearing a toga. It's the second. Y you think? Um, well, I the last location I was at was at the halfway in. Really? I'm... Y yes, and I can take you both there eventually. Eventually? Togas? So yes, is, that, the... is it like rough to get there? Uh, not anymore, no. <laughs> uh, Mildred, Alex, and I took the rough way. So I've been, we've, we've been given the easy way now. Easier, I should say, way to get there. What was the rough way? Uh, the chariot on the trireme, singing uh, the Willy Wonka song, going through the rapids. Nice. Uh, up near 100 meter, dropped from a chasm, 100 meter chasm hallucinogenic chemicals above Dude, if you get us togas we'll get you into the spice cartel okay uh, i don't <laughs> want a toga i'm good thank you um, cheers no toga no entrance into the halfway unit. <laughs> let's go get some togas <laughs> <laughs> yes i thought you i thought that might change your mind. Yeah, you get the I'm togas good. i get the spices <laughs> the okay, so the halfway in is located in a zone which is the early Roman era, as in pre Roman Empire. Um, didn't actually leave the inn, just from there's apparently there, there's a few anyway, there's rules and stuff you got to abide by. These two areas one where the locals go and drink, and one where the doors go and drink, tend to go and drink. Um, it's but the owner wants us to blend in and not appear there in modern clothes and freak out the locals. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. So yeah, hence the toga, because that's where I was last. What color is your toga? Was it white, black? Uh, probably white. I don't know. Whatever, whatever the tailor made me. Whatever oh. Alex recommended the tailor make. Because Alex said Alex knew what the proper style was. I wasn't it's, sure it, myself. it's not quite white. It's it's like linen colored, so kind of an off white. But it's pretty close to white. Come to think of it, I've never seen a black toga, but I'm sure that they're out there. Yeah, I, I don't know what the go was with colors with togas. Hmm. In real life, as opposed to movies. What's the name um, of this place you said we were going to? Uh, it's called the Halfway Inn. The Halfway Inn. Yes, it's also known as Just the Tip. Because people are stupid and annoying. <laughs> Talking about that, <clears throat> so. Oh, and Mr. Happy wasn't there, as far as I could work out, as an aside. But we did meet, um, but there wasn't a postal of white there. Really? Yes. Hmm. A tier two or rank two or whatever you call the second level. Hmm. Her eyes hadn't faded yet but weren't as bright as they would have been normally. Uh, but yeah, sorry, Doc, you were going to say? Well, no, that I know that's a big thing because you wanted to try to restore white, so... I was thinking, well, more so because I thought it would be to our benefit to reestablish red carpet because it would give us another location where we had access to equipment and funds and fast healing for all of us. That was mainly why I was thinking about reestablishing white. Hmm. Mildred's not that happy about it. 
Mildred's not impressed with it, but did she ever she find her knows. girlfriend? Uh, no, no, we um, we didn't go looking for her. I suggested whether or not she wanted to post a message. Uh, Alex Mildred and I did spend a little time in Gotham, as it's now known as. Um, but um, she decided not to. Um, and Mildred is very, very unstable. I'm not sure how long she'll last before she descends into the depths of madness and never escapes. I gave so what we need to do is we need to find a, a shadow where time goes a little bit faster and give her some of the help she needs. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Apparently, Alex... There was a message on the bulletin board that Alex had encountered a Dora that was a psychiatrist or something like that. So, someone by the name of Stephen, who supposedly they last saw him here at Burlington. So, I don't know if there's somebody else in one of the rooms here. Since we're here at Doring at Burlington, we can check. But yeah, um, so but I'm not sure how willing Mildred will be to talk to somebody she's not familiar with. I could do it too. You, you. Oh, okay. I wasn't. You've you've got some ability in psychology, do. What area are we in now? I don't know if I was ever here before. Sorry, oh, you've not. You've oh, been to Burlington. Have you been to Burlington nah. before? No. Nah. Okay. No. Um, quick. No. Nah. Quick. Uh, Cliff Notes version, it's a very small zone. It's pretty much just a town and that's it. Um, you, if you walk through one side, you'll pop out at the other side. <coughs> like the wall goes invisible barrier. Looks like it goes on and on, but you just pop out the other side. Um, it's 1950s. It's Friday every day. The town pretty much resets every day. Oh, oh wait, that is that reset. question to Logan? Um, when I was with... Um... Uh, Jess, you know, that game, we walked into that zone. He said, Happy Friday. Is that what that is? That what this is? Yep. Oh, yeah. I've been here before. Good for yes. you. Yes. Well, we had just came in. That's when we stopped our game. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So I was here. Beautiful. Yeah. Technically, you did, just didn't get to see any of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. So, yeah, 1950s, it's like an old 1950s sitcom, the way that people react to, to things. Um, but, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you don't have to pay money for stuff. They do it to the to this the bed and breakfast where we're staying at. Um, yeah, that sort of stuff. Have you guys been to uh, talking about trying to find help this uh, Mildred out? Or we um, when I entered into this the zone, we were in a hospital and there was a bunch of rooms with different letterings kind of uh, scrambled. Um, each room had. I don't know if you guys have ever been there and, and tried to make anything of it. Yeah, yep, the, the asylum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Did you that, guys ever that, make anything of the the uh, the letters? Yeah. Uh, so there was two very yeah. So there was. Oh, I'll have to try and find it again. Where'd I stick it? I had it written down. We can't find the piece of paper I was making notes on. So <clears throat> I don't have them in order. We we didn't get them in order yet, did we? Well, I I've come up with an order that might be right, but I'm starting to wonder now that we found out a bit more may not be the correct order. Uh, to be it should die. Will I shadows present regain it? Seeks dreaming. All? Yeah. All, uh, all might not be one. That's... So, present could also be serpent or repents. But that, that was, uh, when I was messing around, that was something I came up with that potentially is the order. I'm not saying it is the order, but it sort of flowed. But I'm not sure about the whole... Because um, Zog is potentially first tier red. We found out. That he's red? 
Yeah, not just red, first tier, red. Zog? Is that a person? Yeah. Yeah, but Zog's and more than that too, isn't he? He's the big he's the big bad. So as in as in like we were we were third tier indigo, he's first tier red, apparently. And red is corn, you know, blood for the blood god. And apparently blood of the blood god has both blood for the blood god. It's an expression relating to corn. Uh, and he apparently has both his eyes. The person I was speaking to, not me, and that was that was the weird thing. Most of the doors don't didn't seem to know about Zog, or seem to be concerned about Zog. No one's concerned about him. Well, none of them seem to be aware of him. So he hasn't encroached on zones that they're traveling to. So this picture well, of this little girl I got holding skull balloons, is, there, is this anything to do with that? Have you seen this? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's something Mildred, a, a shadow of Mildred did. Is it of any importance? Uh, only that it freaks Mildred out a little. Okay. So, like, I don't need to, uh, nothing I need to hold on to? We don't know. Okay, so I'll hold on to it. Hold on to it because you never know what might come in handy. Um so the two women you encountered there, the one that had been in that room and there was a woman who, a younger version that looked like Mildred that had in the room with the paper flowers, etc. cetera. Mm -hmm. We've take, we took them, Doc, Alex and I took them out of the asylum and got them back here and got them to MMO land where they got stabilized a little. Uh, the younger one, Amy, uh, stayed in the tip state in Kinleyville, whereas the older one, uh, also known as Mildred, left the town and went to one of the villages. Uh, Mildred had a chat to Amy. Things didn't go too well. Uh, Amy destabilised. Um, so we sedated her and she's currently in the cryo chamber. Zog's cryo chamber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we didn't, we couldn't work out where to put her because we didn't have any, we didn't know anybody that could take care of her and we didn't know any locations where we could put her, where she'd be safe. So that was the only thing we could come up with for the mean, until we find somewhere. Because even in Kinleyville, when she was freaking, uh, the room with the infinite plane with the paper flowers and the very floss, um, balloons were sorry fairy floss clouds started appearing so it wasn't just isolated to the um asylum and that was freaking the residents of kinleyville out especially the people whose place she was staying at who's jane russell jane russell that name is familiar she was one of the females that was in a uh in one of the rooms she's saying she was from kansas She had a baby. Um. Yeah. Yeah. She wanted a baby back. She was the one that was um depressed. We're not sure. Right. Okay. Same. Same as the males in there. We're not sure who they are. Okay. The two that look like Mildred were the two that we took out that we were most interested in. But um. Yeah, it was a quite a a weird place that one. Yes. We we can potentially get back to it, but um. Just figured I'd ask you guys if you know if there's anything important that I. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, um, yeah, as I said, yeah, I'm not too sure about her. Um, okay. Like we tried, we tried some stuff with the three of them to see whether or not they were actually Mildred that had been split into three personalities, um, but none of that seemed to work. And then, oh, um, I looked at Mildred and Amy with the magic glasses. And there was tendrils linking them, and there was also tendrils going from Mildred off towards where the village is, where the other Mildred is. Um, so we don't know if they're shadow versions of Mildred. Um, there was no tendrils going to Alex, so we don't think it was if we don't think Amy was Juno or um, Janice, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, the, their daughters merged. 
we don't think Amy was that because the link was only to Mildred. So we suspect they're more likely either splinters of Mildred or shadow versions of Mildred from other locations. Um, and potentially they can be merged back into Mildred. We don't know yet. We don't, and, we, and we don't really know what the impact would be to Mildred trying to merge them back into her or merge them into her in the first place. Yeah, yeah, they could potentially be fused together. Just not sure how and what the impact would be. Um, anyway, did you guys want to go to the halfway in? Yes. However, yes. I need to tell you a couple things. Please do. <clears throat> so quick AFK because I have uh, problems. Um. Okay. The White Dove. Oh yes. Had a sizable fire. Yes, yes. Um, Tommy, not Tommy. Sorry. Um, Freddie mentioned that most of the upper stories got burnt down. Yeah. Um, we took care of most of that, but um, so this is that he. I, I didn't look at the board to see what else did. Did, did he uh, mention about the uh, the people from Kinleyville are now staying there? No, no, he did not. So we, uh, so I sold off a bunch of the magic stuff that we had found. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, the, yep, yep. The leather armor of greasiness and the sword that did two bumps versus cold. Like, yes, when yes, the hell yes. are we going to really use any of that? No, no, exactly, exactly. No, that, that's their move. Yep. So I sold all that. Um, we still have the ring of Featherfall, the Chris Crystals, and the, the, the ring that gives you a plus to your knowledge, but a curse, whoever knows. Yep, whoever yep, that is. yep, 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 yep. However, the rest of it sold so we could get the, the, the inn working again. Um, we killed the Shoggoth. Oh, you did? Beautiful. Yeah, we killed the Shoggoth um, guarding the gate to uh, Burlington in uh, MMO land. Um, we gave we they gave us like a leg like a, a car sized uh, crisp battery, okay. and uh, we brought that back. And instead of charging it, because since now the car was on the first floor because it burned and like it just kind of crashed through, they were able to extricate the car from there, and they're just going to sell it and put all proceeds mm -hmm. to making the ingo. And then okay. I had the battery the 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 car battery, Chris. Yes. That we're selling we sold to get the in back to level two it was like oh, level okay. three but at least it's level two but yep, instead yep. of okay, using it as a theater that, yeah. now i brought people from mmo land and yep. told them about how the chris crystals work because we got their we got a crystal from there from mmo land mm -hmm. brought it mm -hmm. here to the white dove and then they can sell them they're just different so we need to come up with a reason why that's happening but we can sell those to make money like big money plus mmo land has a lot of gold because i guess that's how they like they kill things and then boop they get money yeah 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 so they had a lot of gold so the white dove is now working in full of it's it's working again uh, oh, it has guards it has some money for i think about it's two months of money yes. right now um okay also we brought janet do you have you ever met janet from uh kinleyville Janet, not that I know of. Who's Janet? Janet is a gnome uh, that makes magical items and such. Okay, so, no, no. So we brought, so Janet and probably, I don't know how many are there now. We showed them, or I showed them the, the tapestry or the painting, and they're using the library and they're going through it and they're going to start organizing it. Beautiful. Did you tell them to leave the books that face the image alone? Because that'll disrupt it. No, we should probably do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you, you recall that? Yes, I do. That, like, as soon as yeah, you said yeah. it, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, What's I the mean, deal with them books? Pardon? I wasn't aware about the books. What was what was the deal with the books? If you mess up the front of it where you go in, it will right. mess up. It, since it, it won't be the same place, so you won't be able to transport yourself. So. There. Where are these books at? So that I don't, I don't ever. If I'm ever there, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. So when, when you, so when you're looking at the painting of the old library, okay, 
the painting shows some bookshelves with books. Okay. So the books you see when you're looking at the painting, when you step through, will be the books you step through and will be in front of you. Okay. So you don't mess those books up because okay. they're they're at. It, it's probably okay if you take one off and then return it, that sort of stuff. But if you rearrange them, that will, like we suspect, it will sever the link. Whether or not that destroys the library or just means that it will link somewhere else, we're not sure. And okay. we, we suspect that that library could potentially link to other locations if you go deeper into the stacks. Um, we didn't really explore it, and I think it was a TBD, as in to be done by Logan. Thank you for the info. Nice. So, yeah. <clears throat> so to make money and to like bridge that whole gap, we can actually yeah, yeah. start using the crystals from MMO land and selling them here. Uh, oh, they're learning how to charge them, oh, and I tried to charge it myself, but the universe told me that it's not quite doable yet uh-huh <laughs> <laughs> i tried I the yeah, yeah, was yeah. like not yet i was like all right i'll wait okay so, <laughs> um but i did learn how to do a little bit of that um we know that it could be possible in the future to make our own like magically powered things like that they okay. are all learning how to make magitech which will help their tech level in mmo land since good, magic good. is so prevalent, and they will start to prosper there. Uh, I know brilliant. that they've been kind of treading water and basically barely yeah, yeah, yeah. keeping up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That will be a huge boon for them. So that's what's going on there. So there was a little bit of a setback, and we brought it back. Um, um, have you ever been to post-apocalyptic Earth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You implanted a cranial bomb in my head. Um, <laughs> I got, I got but, but you guys are friends? A, we were the blue people for a month, or the purple people for a month, two months, and toured. You mean Alex? Okay. And played so instruments, and yeah. The aliens there all left. Oh. They just like the whole middle of San Angeles, gone, flew up. So including zone, including zone, so including zone one. What was zone one, which is the central zone? Yeah, all of zone one left. Oh, interesting. So there's only zone, zone two in zone three now, or yes. Um, I did go. We did some big training because of Tom there, the bargain man. Um, mm -hmm. we brought <laughs> we brought spices <laughs> to them and did all kinds of trading. Um, okay. We figured out a way to hack because there's like little caches of uh, or caches of. Um, like little bunkers, but they're all uh, guarded by oh. these proximity lasers. Yeah, don't okay. I know? And so, so if you get such, too such close, as like where rapid such fire we were stationed out in the desert or wherever it was for a while. Yeah. Um. So we we created a hacking device to hack the signal so we could get in there. Yeah. Cool. You hacked the signal. I like that. <laughs> yeah. He did yell hack the planet while it was going on as well. Yeah. So we got in, we found some stuff, including these weird grenades that like feel evil, which is kind of, I mean, since it's based off of MyGo technology, I could see that, you know. Yes, um, yes, yes. Also, uh, we, we found, uh, I, I found some stuff for some upgrades we got we, there's a bunch of stuff in there that we should be able we should go try to check out again okay um, Sounds good. it's really super dangerous but if, you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. It's so kind of if you get stuck you're just you get blasted are there yeah. still are there still satellites or something blasting people with higher tech weaponry yes yes all right it has the rending started the rending. Yes. So in Gothic post apocalyptic, sorry, in Gothic San Angeles, as in the one where Shadow Academy White Dove is, mm -hmm. I looked into the history of that, and part of their history was the bugs, was Bug City. And after Bug City, there was a, a thing called the rending, mm -hmm. which was uh, basically like a huge magic war and when magic came back into the world 
Uh, I'm just trying to find my notes about it because I'd worked out a. It was interesting because their time, the timeline didn't make sense. It was like the timeline in Bug City being compressed. Uh, there's when I went to. Yeah, so 2090 was Alien Takeover, 2100, The Aliens Leave, 2101, The Great Magic War Begins, 2105, Genovia, the continent where Genovia is on sinks or disappears, 2108, Great Magic War Ends. So that period where the Great Magic War, etc., I think that is what they termed as the rending from memory. And that's, yeah, so. So if the aliens have only just left, within a year, magic will come back and the great magic war will begin and magic and monsters and creatures will come back. Ah, okay. So, and if it falls in line with this, the thing, I think I can't, rem I can't remember if we established that bug city that we access is Genovian Earth or European Earth. If it is European Earth, it may go in a different direction. It may not have, the, the magic wall may not occur because magic doesn't, doesn't exist in the European Earth world, whereas in the Genovian Earth, magic exists in different time periods. So it'll dip, I can't remember which, which Earth or if it's a different Earth completely, that Bug City exists on, exists on, if we ever manage to work it out or not. Um, like they had they had the alien invasion in their timeline, but the one we accessed. No, I didn't. The same, same one. I didn't go to like I didn't even go check the Bug City. I was just in San Angeles. Yeah, it's San Angeles is Bug City. It is Bug City. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the nickname for San Angeles in post-apocalyptic okay. uh, set because of the aliens being taken over it. It was called Bug City. Unless I had worked it out and made a note elsewhere, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Which way I'd, which way it was deemed. Ah, ha ha. You've got something? And yeah, the I've processing made plant that I worked for was north in the desert, two weeks travel. Beautiful. <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> Yeah, I've actually got yeah. noted noted in from noted here that don't know which version of Earth, the Bug City realm, we have been to exist in. John's like, they're figuring out all this little shit, but when do we get the guns? When? <laughs> <laughs> so the... Um, Oh, the rend the rending is what they call the the, uh, the aliens turning up. Sorry, it wasn't the magic war. The rending was the the aliens turning up. I'm looking at my old notes. But when when the magic war begins, when the aliens leave, and then assume if, if this is Genovian Earth, um, then that's when the reality changes, and that's when things like electricity stops working, gunpowder stops working, etc. Uh, note for Doc Fulton, in case it wasn't clear before, the factory in the desert is a underground lair. Um, so I don't know if you actually seen uh, how they get into it or whatever, but just let you know, it will be a tricky thing to find, even knowing approximate location. But if you do, then, you know. Excuse me. But yeah. Uh, and just... just uh, uh, FYI, the factory will be a 
TBD thing for later, to be determined later. But yes, uh, I will. I will fucking. Uh, if you're interested in going there, I will bend my efforts toward making a fucked up uh, mod for it. So, Tommy, where were you getting the spice from? Sorry? Where were you getting the spice from that you were using to trade? You mentioned spice. Uh, we got it at uh, uh, Freddie and I went, uh, I believe it was to the Bazaar area. And uh, we're bartering for spice to help out uh, with making this uh, prototype, I think. Is that correct, Doc? Yeah. So the bazaar in Bug City? Yes. I look, uh, yes. They would go to Gotham and get spices and then come back. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. So that, that's what I was trying to look at, where did the spice originate from? Yes. Okay. So you were buying kitchen spot sorry it's not it's not the spice of life it's not june spice. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that that's what i was trying to clarify because you could have encountered that and we have encountered areas where it's possibly that that could exist yeah we're looking at making up some stores making up some yeah. stores called bargain there uh, man and uh it's going to franchise soon beautiful so okay so the spices you were getting were just your kitchen spices your time your Crack pepper, blah blah blah. Pretty right. Much. Yep, beautiful. No, brilliant idea. If it's not stuff people are able to get it easily, then people pay a uh, mint for it. Yes. Um, I tried that with electronics and a few other things, except Alex um, gave it away. <laughs> Best bargain rolls ever. Fumble followed by fumble followed by fumble. Yep. Kind of like my you, I had I had fifty grand worth of trade goods that disappeared that way. Yeah. <laughs> that was to try to set us up a decent base in Bug City, but alas, it didn't occur. <laughs> anyway, all right, yeah, Phil and I, because Phil and I had established a shop there for repairing electronic goods and stuff. All right, so you're trading spice there, very nice. Uh, so the aliens have left, interesting. So you guys are hanging out in the hallway. And Has anybody come out to see what us standing there talking? Just to no, I was going to describe the hallway some more. Just I can. <laughs> well, <laughs> nice Tommy hardwood floors, kind of flowery Tommy. wallpaper, <laughs> obviously chosen by a woman. Uh, very <laughs> old fashioned, like nineteen circa nineteen fifties electric lights and stuff like that. Um, the smell of cooking coming from downstairs? Yes, bacon, bacon. Mm. I should open up my character sheet. Oh, Pete, be sure to reduce your hand a bit, please. Oh, okay. Oh, I hadn't been watching that. <coughs> okay, for scan, no red cards. It's good. Sorry, I'd leave during the briefing. I do love the player briefings, but nature called, and I was just amazed at how many of my biological functions are in this recording. So, um, <laughs> you guys want to go downstairs for breakfast, or? Yes. Sure. No problem. There's a very nice lady down there. Uh, she looks kind of motherly, if that makes sense, and uh, she's serving up the breakfast, uh, and it is... Let's see. Um, uh, the the place is a bit faded and worn, but very very clean. And 
Uh, you guys passed the uh, uh, familiar French 16th century grandfather clock. Uh, the lady is named uh, Doris Cook, and she says, hungry? They have yes, eggs, please. bacon, juice, toast, coffee, glass of milk. Um, oh, wait, no, empty glass. Sorry, empty glass, not milk. Tonight's meatloaf night, she says. Mm, lovely. Um, mm -hmm. the, the milkman, not Albert, not delivering today. I guess not, she says. She goes on like, aren't I silly? And takes away the empty glasses like she didn't even realize she'd put them on the table. Could I get a, would it be too much trouble to get a cup of tea, please? Oh, um, let me see. I don't even know if she has a cup of tea. Um, she says, not at all. Excuse me. You hear the, she goes off, gets her coat, goes out the front door. You hear it open and close. <laughs> <laughs> You're a horrible man. Right. Now she's gone. We can, oh, uh, her husband, her husband comes in. Yes. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. Anything I can do for you, he says. Um. You don't have the morning paper, and do you? Uh, excuse me a moment, he says. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad man you are. All right, so you hear the front door open and close. Right, now that they've gone. All right, so was I there... wish they had five kids. I seriously would send them in one at a time right now. <laughs> yes, I know you would. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So is there anything you wanted to cover off the dock or do before we go to Beast King San Angeles to get you guys some togas and then go to halfway in? Um, no, that's good. Uh, the only other thing that I have to mention is that um, in post-apocalyptic, we are known as the Spice Cartel. The Spice uh, Cartel. Yes, we do have a uh, little base set up now with uh, okay. guards. Uh, and that'll be there for six months. Um, if you go there without, like, me, Freddy, or Tom, probably not a good idea. All right. Well, worst comes to worst, after halfway in, you can, we can always just nick there and you can introduce me to the guards. Right. To cover that off. True. Cause, and you were saying about there was some of the high-tech gear you wanted to investigate further. Oh, that's that's here. We can show you that at the. Where did we leave it? There's notes on that now. The alien hacking computer, I guess, is at the Spice Cartel. Yes. Ah, the black spherical devices. Oh, and then the jack. Were, weren't the black spherical devices uh, and the jack brought to uh, the... The Australian embassy. Mm. And well, storage. Mm. A right. jack obtained from alien post apocalyptic So by jack, you're talking about the children's thing? Were you talking yeah, about like a big. card jack? No, it looks like a big children's jack that you would bounce a ball and pick up. Okay. But all black and plastic looking, but heavy. What what size? Children's toy size? Well, big. This, this uh, like, um, I don't know, quarter meter. Okay. Mm, yeah, somewhere. It, oh, it, you managed to find some more lightsaber parts. Cool. Mm -hmm. It made him hard. We could actually see the desk rise up slowly. <laughs> <laughs> His monitor started tilting back. Uh-huh. <laughs> Roomba. Roomba Are you going Roomba. going through the newest uh, feature? Yeah, the I was just having a glance. Things? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, because oh, I, they I like that because it's, it's some weird shit, but you have to be able to access the different areas. And for, hopefully the PCs will make the security tight enough that people who haven't been there with people who know what's going on can't get in because otherwise shit will just randomly disappear, you know? Yeah, yes. 
having experienced stuff disappearing on me when I've left it around from other PCs saying, Ooh, Oh, so that. much fun. So <laughs> much fun. Oh, no, uh, somebody left a bunch of lock picks. I think we'll take them all. And then Pete's like, The fuck? <laughs> I, I left some. Ooh, obscure knowledge plus one permanent increase to any skill. Um, do either of you have a limited retrieve or anything? <clears throat> Actually, I'll. I won't play it quite yet. I've got to reduce my hand down further. Mm. Uh, I'll get rid of handguns plus 20. Oh, do any of you have a Nada or any crap cards like that before I just start discarding the front and center? No. Um, yes, I have a Clueless and a True North. All right. Did you want a... Let's see. You probably don't need that. I just toss them in whatever you think he wants. They'll so speed things up so we can get into the adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right, yeah, have that. What about you, John? Do you have any crap cards? I only have uh, slip up. We also have uh, loose stun damage, replenish, and uh, have an NPC draw four cards. Not a bad hand, actually. Oh, hang on a sec. They hang it, have an NPC draw four cards. Is that a red one? No. Okay, that is a friendly one then. Beautiful. It's not a play immediately. Good, good. That's the friendly version. And like Logan said, um, I'll discard not me unless you want it, Chris. A what? Not me. When the GM is rolling to see who the random attack is aimed for, nah. having everyone do luck rolls, etc., <clears throat> the card ensures it's not you. That's all good. Yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, did you did you have another crap card, Chris? Uh, yeah, I have a true north. Like if you fail navigation. Okay. You, yep, it yep. becomes a success. Yeah. Have a armor piercer too. Hopefully, we won't need it for combat, but you never, never know. Yeah, oh. they they actually managed to get themselves into a little bit of combat yesterday. They didn't have to, but I think they wanted to. All right, I am going to play obscure knowledge. Okay. Which increases any skill by one. As the ultimate, uh, I have over 100 skill card. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't have any skills at 100 quite yet. You benefit. Chris has like two or three, which is weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Cool. Nobody expects him to be that good. <laughs> I know what that look means, but it's a racial slur, so I can't say it. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you guys sit around and eat your breakfast and such. Eventually, a uh, newspaper is brought from McKay. Pretty much it's the same newspaper, shows blank newspaper, that you get to see every day here. I know. I thought I'd check, Justin. We, things have changed here before. So If you had some crayons, you could make it a better newspaper. Maybe it'd get reprinted. And I thought he would have just had, he would have had one delivered to the house by the paper boy in the morning. Mm. Uh, and uh, the uh, tea uh, gets heated up and eventually clumsily made. Okay. Hey, it's coffee drinkers in the U.S., boy. <laughs> Back in the 50s, anyway. Uh, where is it? There it is. I will raise that. Every little bit helps. So, you guys finished up with your breakfast and you were ready to go and greet the new day and grab it by the Shorten curlies and start tugging. Oh, there's, there's the piece of paper with the words on it. All right. Shall we head to the Taylors and the Australian yes, Embassy? Please. Sure. All right. Uh, to the Australian Embassy. You don't have to go out to a tailor, no, silly no, man. No. <laughs> I know. One comes to you. But that's why I meant, that's why I said the Australian Embassy as well. Yes. When, when you're walking down the uh, street to go from the barber shop to the uh, Australian embassy, everybody warmly but confusedly greets the Australian ambassador and his entourage. Uh, there's a lot of double looks like, the fuck? 
Uh, when you get to the uh, Australian embassy, you see there's a lot of workmen and stuff, uh, many of whom are soot covered. Beautiful. Don't That's worry, right. sir. We'll have that uh, room repaired as soon as possible. We're just ripping out all the burned sections, and we're going to put in the uh, the new stuff. Oh, that's right. Freddy, like, burst Laser. into flames in one of the rooms here, too. <laughs> He's a hot I, mess. I see. Literally he, a hot he mess. Made, he did not mention about the Australian embassy taking damage. He only mentioned about White Dove. Well, I mean, th this is stone, so I mean, and it was pretty instant, so. It, yeah. I like that. Idea. about it, honestly. No, no, I like the uh, Pete face palm there. That was awesome. Just it's a walking calamity when it comes to fire. I don't know why he doesn't become a fire mage specialist, but I mean, no. Yeah, so he can put out the flames he starts. He needs to get Vex to teach him fire magic if he doesn't know it already. Yeah, the, right now, to date, the lizard that is uh, really fond of fire has started less fires in your embassy than the guy who doesn't like fire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in one of the PCs. All right, mm -hmm. but yes, get get the tailor in to get these two organizing togas. So it's up to you guys if you want to get a toga like Mildred had or one similar to Alex or myself. Yeah, I want one like you guys got. It looked pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Well, just just so you know, beneath the long ass wrap thing is like a single shift, kind of like a, a, a it's like a, a mid mid length skirt and shirt all in one thing. You just tug it over your head, and then you wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap. But yeah, uh, you guys get hooked up with that. It takes a surprisingly short period of time because they got extra cloth around. They figured maybe it'd become a new ambassadorial thing and so they're like we should order extra of this cloth because they are they are doing pretty well here so things like needing to replace a room that freddie decided fuck this room in particular and practice his flamethrower inside or you know extra cloth not really an issue here you guys have gotten all outfitted uh the uh elf kids come and they tell you that new tarot cards have been placed in the safe and besides um, the ones from Freddy, I know two from Freddy. Was there yes, yes. Uh, I think this guy with you may have uh, given us some too. Yes. Oh, okay. Which cards did you hand over? I gave As, him one second. As, I don't have a note of him. I do. They may I be on them. the spreadsheet, but I'm not sure. Alex may well, have put unless, them unless you spreadsheet. updated the spreadsheet yourself. Alex may have. I didn't mess with that. Okay, I gave, yeah. You want to know what, what I had or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Go. I've had a uh, Ace of Swords, a Five of Pentacles. Yep. Ju judgment, Five of Cups, Eight of Wands, Five of Swords, High Priestess, Four of Cups. That's it. Was four of cups. Yep. Yep. Four of pentacles. The yep. star. Mm hmm. Four of swords and hermit. Sorry, what was the last one? Hermit. H E R M I T, I'm assuming. Yep. Sorry, you're just breaking up a little bit for me. Thank you kindly. Ah, so that's the door who could help Mildred out. Potentially. He's one of our Doras. He's not some stranger Dora. Would it help? Yes. All right. You have a full deck yet? I don't know. I'll have to check. One anyway. of these days, Joshua McKay will get to play with a full deck. Mm hmm. <laughs> So Joshua, how do you know you have a full? I mean, what's what's the deal with these? I don't know had, nothing about had, them. All right, so at, at some stage we started receiving tarot cards where we, when we were going to locations, okay. new locations, or locations that we'd already been to previously but had changed. There had been some change occurred 
in them. Um, we started looking into what these, we had some theories about these tarot cards, whether or not they were linked with um, amber, as you know, like trump cards, similar to what amber has, or if there was something different. We worked out there was something different, and doing research into it, we found out that once all the cards are together in a complete deck, mm -hmm. it will activate the, activate the cards as to what the cards will then what abilities the cards will have, we don't know. So I don't know if each card has a particular ability or it's just every card has the same ability, but so it doesn't really matter what the card is, but they all have the same ability. We don't know yet. So how many of these cards are there in order to have a full deck? You know? uh, well, it's a, it's a typical tarot deck with, um, what is it, 74 or 72 cards? 78. 78, thank you. I couldn't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, so it's the um, uh, the something white. Where is it? Where's my notes? Rider White. Thank you. Yeah, which is a typical tarot deck that came about in the early 20th century, late 19th century. Um, previously, a lot of the tarot cards, we, several of the tarot cards we got had were slightly different images on them compared to the standard deck. Mm -hmm. um, for example, Alex was, was on one of the cards. Um, Mildred's girlfriend was on another card. Uh, the tower from memory looked a bit different and a few other things. The, um, we lost all those tarot cards when um, the mansion we had in um, Red Carpet got raided by the police and everything seized, seized there. And then the police lost all their evidence that they had on us. Um, so the cards disappeared um, and we started getting more cards. And so we've, we've found that several of the locations have changed sufficiently recently for us to get more cards. <clears throat> we could also always go try and, because uh, I figure if it's not at like the station, that it, maybe it's in like... Uh, a police evidence like warehouse type thing. We could always go look. I, I like Logan's eyebrow raised there. I um, we could always go look for uh, yes. See if the see if they're in there. Like we can go yeah. like plan a heist type thing. But that's mm -hmm. like a big. Mm -hmm. uh, we're already wanted. So what the fuck does it matter? Yeah, yeah you yeah. guys are wanted on that. <laughs> True. Um, anybody who hasn't seen the Rider White Tarot deck. If you click on the link, it'll take you to a wiki page. You can just see what the pictures look like that's on them. Maybe of interest, maybe not. Um, Tommy, what is your surname? Do you have a surname? Tom, yeah, my name uh, Tommy Barlow is my full name. As in B-A-R-L-O-W? That's correct. Beautiful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You guys all have uh, fitted togas. Um, the kids Mother. tell you about the horrible, uh, uh, strange man who set fire to one of the rooms. Um, uh, give me, uh, since they've taken uh, uh, McKay aside, give me, uh, only McKay, give me an empathy role. They've taken him aside to talk about catching up stuff and all that. Yeah, skills, empathy. Yeah. By half or minus thirty. Um, they they're keeping something from you that's upset them, but they're not has coming straight out and saying it. Has something else happened besides the death of Alex Kinley Jr.? No, no. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, they say no. That's about it. Yeah. You can be on. You know, you can be honest with me about anything. Yes. Then all right. <laughs> <laughs> they I'll shuffle to, out I'll, uncomfortably. I'll go talk to the word. All right. Take a card for doing sneaky shit. He takes <laughs> McKay goes over, takes the bird cage, disappears. What? What? Says the word as he's he taken away. Right. When you get the word by himself, uh, he's like, ah, I've been good. He's really, he's looking long in the feather. So to speak. Long yeah, you, you've suddenly been aging. We don't live long. 
My species doesn't live that long. Yes, yes, you've told me that before. Anyway, so what's going on? The kids are hiding something from me, something bad's happened, or something yeah. seems to have upset them. Yes, I heard them talking about it. They don't know I speak as well as they think they do. Anyway, they some uh, of the uh, people passing through town made lewd comments to, to uh, the girl. He actually says her name. Logan doesn't want to look it up right now. And Alana. Alana. And the boy. Elwin. Elwin was egged. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Were but, they out by were they out by themselves or was there no they had they had guards with them and stuff uh they the people who did the egging uh got taken to the sheriffs and stuff but it still upset them yeah yeah of course understandable mm -hmm. trying... not a lot of love for elves he says no no Tr trying to change that but it's going to take a generation or two unfortunately mm -hmm. Uh, five of swords. Five of swords. Five of swords. pretty upset about it too. He's not a father figure to him. I'd say more of a perverted uncle. Sorry, who's upset about it? The word. The word. Yeah. Yeah. Other than elven harassment, not a lot going on. <laughs> 